Alrighty, and welcome back. It's been a while since we've done a review. I've got a review for a blower from a new company. This is my first time reviewing for Inhulk, I think is how you pronounce it. And I'm sure you're noticing this right down here, right off the bat, 930 CFM blower. Now, I looked it up and my big backpack uh, gas blower is running at about 960 CFM. So if it is really blowing it's 930, that's really good. I mean, you see it's a 58 volt and the sun is right over there. There we go. So let's just look around the box real quick. Over here you see the other products that they have. Now I looked around the internet and I don't see all of these available yet so they're just getting started. And I can't remember which ones are available and which ones aren't but that's a good look at what else they got. And over on this side, it shows what's in the uh, box. There should be a battery and a charger. And the three nozzles, including this siphon nozzle. It just got my curiosity going. We'll find out what that is in just a second. So, let's uh, open up this box and see what we got in there. Okay, so here we go. I sliced it open. And we're going to take a look at this for the first time. Okay, we have the instructions. And right here, one big tube. What is this? This is the wide tube. Over here is the siphon tube. Now this got some size to it. Look at this. I'll get all these things out of the bags in just a moment. And then over here we have that's the charger. It's stuck under there. This must be the battery. Oh boy. Now that that is a battery. Look at this. Good grief. And yeah, it's got a lot of weight to it. We're going you know, to hope that this is kind of counterbalanced. We'll find out. Big battery. And the big main unit. Yep, that's big. And the charger. Okay, cool looking charger. And I'll get everything out of the bags and we'll take another look at all this. But that's everything that was in the box. Okay. Okay, so this is what you got. It is a good size blower. It's got some size to it. I'll hold it up in just a second. But uh, you got your three different tips here. And I will figure out what the story is on this siphon tip, what the uh, principle is that they're using. I've never seen anything like that, so I don't know what's happening there. But I'm going to look that up and figure it out. Otherwise, you get your wide dispersion and then your concentrated cone tip there. Uh, the main nozzle, I can actually show you. I didn't complete the assembly. But this, of course, just has this little clip that pops up. But you can just, you just push it on there. Yeah. So that's assembled now. And you just interchange your tips on the end. Down here we've got the batteries. I just wanted to show on the battery. Pick that up. That it does have one of those buttons where you can check to see the level. You can see it is shipping with two out of five lights and we'll put that on the charger in just a second here and uh, that is it that's everything that uh, comes with it and let's go to the charging station and plug it in for the first time okay so we are ready to charge this for the first time here's a look at the top of the charger and the indications 
for what's good and what's bad. And that is lit up, that's a green light. And we're about to put this battery on there for the first time and see what happens. So here we go. Naturally. There we go. Ta-da. Okay, I think that means charging. All right, and so, you know, we've got these indicators here. I don't know what lights up. I don't know if these things here light up to show these things. Green, okay. The starburst, the sun means charging. I think that means the blinking means charging. And then if it's on solid, probably means charged. But you'll be able to see by these lights as well. All right, so now we wait, and then we'll use it. Okay, I don't know how long that was. I left and came back, but the green light is on solid now. And we'll press this button to see. Yep, we've got five green lights now. So fully charged, and now we can put it on the machine and try it out. Okay, let's get started. Now, first of all, let's just take a look at this. I've got that tip on there. I haven't looked it up yet to figure out what the story is on that, but as you can see, it's open. And somehow that's uh, helping. And by the end of the video, hopefully I've looked that up, the principles behind that, and explained that. But the first thing I want to show is that it's got a variable trigger. Listen to this. And so, uh, and I accidentally hit this thing called cruise control. Might as well uh, demonstrate that too. So whatever speed you put it on, if you have it on low, you hit cruise, and it leaves it there. So it'll go. Or, if you want to increase that, increase. Cruise right there, you can do that. I'm curious, look at it, it's moving. Interesting, let's try that out. Let's put it on full blast. Put it on full blast and cruise and see if it moves itself. Yes, yes, it does. <laughs> okay, so we have learned, we're gonna have to demonstrate that. It moves itself on the ground, and that's not even in turbo mode yet. Wow, that could be fun. So uh, that's the cruise control, and now I just want to demonstrate quickly the other button. We have turbo button, so you put it on full throttle, and then hit the turbo, and listen to this. So, I think the next thing we have to do is put it on full throttle and cruise control and see how far it goes. Okay, so I don't actually feel too silly doing that demonstration because we're talking about a powerful blower here. And I just wanted to mention that 930 CFM, I think I mentioned before that my, my big backpack blower is actually 960 CFM, and that's gas powered. So this is amazing. And from what I can tell, let me pick it up here. Let me bring this out into the grass to show you. It does feel like it's every bit of 930 CFM. Let's, let me get out of the wind here. Okay, let me show you here. You know what I'll do?
do is I will blow out that planter as a demonstration. What we've got here is leaves and we've got these seed pods. These are big things, more solid than a pine cone. Let me uh, set up the tripod and blow that out. Look at that. I mean, absolutely no problem whatsoever. It's got all the power of my backpack blower. Absolutely, completely as strong. Look at it. Look at it blew all that out there. Um, now, as you probably saw, it was actually kind of moving the rocks. Let me, um, that wasn't even on turbo mode. Let me put it on turbo and see, just as a demonstration, what it's going to do with rocks. These are one to three inch rocks. So these are big rocks. See here. Not small rocks. Let's go give that a try. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, why would you ever need to blow big rocks around like that? Well, basically, just if you're doing a review video for a powerful blower, just to show what it can do. And that is impressive for sure. Look at that. Like I said, I mean, these are not small rocks. And so now I will I will fix the, uh, the big hole there and we will move on. Now something else I do want to mention is I, I had mentioned that this is a heavy battery, definitely a heavy battery, so I was wondering how it is balanced. And I just wanted to demonstrate, I'm holding it right here in the middle, and it is balanced right there, right where the trigger is. So as you hold on to it, it's not dipping forward or dipping back. It's, uh, if you're holding it at arm's length, it's just kind of hanging on your arm. It does have that much kickback. I wanted to demonstrate that too. Look at that. This is, I'm doing nothing to hold it steady and I pull the trigger and it goes back that far. And sure, let's do the turbo. Very, very strong. Anyway, let's move on. I'm sure you want to see a demonstration of it in a larger application. And we will go, it's leaf season, so we'll go find some oak leaves and uh, do some uh, longer blowing and see uh, longevity. All right, so I came out to this area because there are always leaves in this area because of all these trees that are here. But I hadn't realized, I wasn't even thinking, it's been raining, so over in this section, and we'll certainly blow off this area here. As you see, it's getting wetter and wetter and wetter, and over here we have standing water. Now, my big backpack blower can blow all that out. It can blow the water and the leaves and everything. And this being up on that level, it might be able to do it too, so we're gonna try it. We will check it out. So we will start way over there to see how it does on the regular leaves and then we'll set up the tri tripod over here and see if it can do this. Interesting.
Alrighty, so well, it actually did it. Now this is absolutely the first time I've ever used an electric blower that's able to do what a gas backpack blower is able to do. That can't be done. That can't be done with an electric blower. And we just did it with an electric blower. Look at that. Now I know I've got a, I got a mess because of the way the wind is blowing. It blew it all up into the yard. So I'll clean all that up now, but let's check the battery because that was a lot. I was on turbo. You're only supposed to use turbo a little bit and I used it pretty much half the time. Let's see what we got here. Well, that can't be right. What am I seeing there? Still a full charge? That's uh, kind of shocking because we just ran it pretty much... Uh, let me pull the battery out and check it out of the machine. Okay, let's look at this again. Well, it says it's got a full charge. I'm not completely sure it really still does, but maybe it does. Anyway, what that tells me is that if you needed to blow off the whole yard, you could absolutely do it. That's funny, with a lot of turbo use. Anyway, let's uh, go find a place to uh, check out those other tips. This was the siphon tip. I looked up the siphon tip on the internet, and as it turns out, it doesn't seem to exist other than, you know, for other applications. It's the first time I've seen one on a blower. I don't know what it does. Okay, here finally is a bit of explanation on that siphon tip. This is part of the information that they sent me. And it's called an air gale siphon. And the reason why I can't find this in general on the internet for a blower is because they have patented it. They designed it. And I don't know how it works, but it definitely increases the airflow. And I've got some examples coming up here in the video in just a second that's going to show that uh, pretty vividly. So let's go there now. I'm just, uh, here's an explanation of the, uh, the mystery. And here's something else worth mentioning. The Cool Blast system. They've got a, the, the fan is blowing back a little bit on the battery, I think is it what it's showing there, to cool the battery while it's running. 12 degrees Fahrenheit reduction, which if you ever use these, um, I believe they're lithium, if you've used these, they do have a tendency of overheating while you're using them. And you know, the whole time I used this, and I really, really used it, it never overheated, and that must be why. Just wanted to mention that here in the video so that you would know about it. Okay, so I came out here to the park because we've got this area here that's just a small amount of water and I'm thinking that that's going to illustrate the dispersion of the air uh, in a way that you can see it. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with the siphon tip to see what it is doing in the water and then we'll move on to the other tips. Okay, so that was interesting. It definitely gave a clear uh, illustration of the spray pattern. And what it also showed me, obviously if you had a very wide area you needed to do, you would want to use this tip, but only if the stuff is really light, is what I was thinking. But it's got so much power that it was even throwing all this leaves and water around. So I think that if you have a wide area, you might want to use 
this tip. I was thinking that you would just use this tip for everything. But I think that tip's gonna work out pretty good as well. And of course the concentrator tip is really for, it would be like if you're drying off the uh, car. And to do that, you would take the main pipe off. Let me see if I can do that. Nope, I was wrong. I was thinking that that stubby tip was gonna fit straight on there if you took the main pipe off, but it doesn't, it's a different diameter. But if you wanted to dry off a car because of all the tight angles, you would probably want to do it this way. I think it still works. Yep. So, for car washes, that's the way you would set it up. Okay, after testing it out thoroughly, I've got to give it an absolute A+. Now this 930 CFM, from my experience, that is real. It is really blowing that hard, or harder. I'm telling you, it is the real deal. It really will perform, just like a backpack blower. And uh, I'm amazed. I'm like really happy about this thing. So what I'm going to do now, uh, finishing off the video, I just want to mention that the links to it will be in the description and in the top pin comment if you want to go get one. I don't think it's uh, quite out on the market yet. I think that this is this video is the big release where it will be available. So uh, go check it out. Go get one. It's uh, it's amazing. Now to just finish out the video, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave this wide angle tip on there because I want to try it out in a bigger application. And we'll see what it can do with all these leaves in this ditch. And uh, that'll do it. I appreciate you all watching and you all have a good one.